What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to give you an update on my Porsche 911 GTS, the 991.1 version with the naturally aspirated engine. Um, I've put about 15,000 miles on it so far. I bought it brand new back in 2015. So just want to give you an update of what my impressions are of the car since I took ownership and uh, what it's like. I have to tell you, I, I just love being in this car. So having a car that loves to be driven is just amazing. And particularly on roads like this, oh my God, this is just, this is just heaven. And that, here's the interesting thing. The suspension keeps you relatively flat. I mean, you know when you're pulling G's, you feel the G's, but the suspension doesn't feel like it's beating you up. Now this road is not too pockmarked, but I'm in sport mode, so the car is hunkered down. And boy, it just does its business. Ah, it's just so smooth and, and it's not so stiff that I feel like that it's going to, you know, upset the car in any way. No, it just absorbs the bump, but yet keeps the car just as flat as can be. Look at that, look at that. It's just amazing. I mean, this is what driving is all about. I, you know, yes, I know the new, GTS is faster. I'm sure the GT3 is a blast. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I bet you that's amazing. But I, I'm loving this. I, I'm loving this car. Okay, it's obvious that this Porsche 911 is a sports car, but my wife and I do use it for long trips and traveling. That means my wife can enjoy the car along with me, and we don't feel like we're getting beat up in this car at all. I also use it for autocross. I'm just starting to get into autocross this year, and it's a lot of fun to use this car for that purpose. I've not taken the car on a full track day yet, so that's something I really want to do. And I have a feeling that on a nice track that has sweeping high-speed turns, that that's probably where this car would be most at home, as opposed to tight little autocross tracks. But nonetheless, this car has been a lot of fun at autocross, and I'm learning a lot about driving dynamics by doing autocross. And speaking of driving dynamics, this car is amazing. And I mean, this, that's this car's forte. It really is meant to be driven and driven hard. The steering is amazing. The turn-in is very sharp. It's just a willing dance partner. The chassis just feels so nimble. It just really goes where you want it to go. The levels of grip is, are pretty amazing. It's just a phenomenal driver's car. I just can't say enough about how much fun this car is to drive. Before this car, I had a 997.2 with hydraulic steering, which many people say is one of the best steering setups that Porsche uh, had in the 911. This current 911 that I own, the 991.1, has electric steering, not hydraulic. I've been very pleased with the performance of the electric steering of the 991.1. And again, the 997 was a fantastic version of the 911. I was very happy with that car. I find that the turn in on this one, the 991, is so sharp, it could be not just the steering itself, it could be that in combination with the suspension setup. This is a GTS versus my previous car, which was a Carrera S. 
This particular car, being a GTS, comes with torque vectoring and dynamic engine mounts, uh, all of that standard, which all of that in combination makes this car handle phenomenally well, have tremendous amount of grip, and really be really sharp to rotate and turn in. Now, I noticed during autocross, if I go in too hot on a turn, carry too much speed, the front end just washes away, tremendous amount of understeer, but that's because I made a mistake. You know, that's because I carry too much speed into that turn. But people often talk about steering feel, that the steering feel of the 991s is very numb. And I guess that's probably true. To a novice like me, I don't know that it makes a huge amount of difference. If I'm gonna understeer and the front end washes away, I feel that happening even with electronic steering. You, you experience that happening as the driver. So to wrap up on the steering feel, this car is very sharp to turn in, it's nimble, the steering is very precise. All of that combined makes this car so much fun to drive. So I don't have any complaints about the electronic steering setup. There's a lot of people on this road and I don't want to be unsafe so I'm not pushing it if you watch um, my autocross videos you can hear the engine sing a little bit more I have during autocross I have it set in sport plus which keeps the, the throttle response is really sensitive then and the PDK works to keep the engine way up high in the rev band above 4,000 so you'll hear in the autocross videos the car just screaming country roads you hear the crackles because I'm coasting into turns here and that that crackle sounds so good but yet when you put your foot in it I don't know if you can hear that on this mic but ah oh, that stick sounds so good the PDK this engine torque vectoring oh and this car has dynamic engine mounts so when you're in sport or sport plus I believe it tightens up the engine mount so it really becomes a rigid part of the car you don't have the engine kind of floating around back there however in normal mode the the dynamic engine mounts are more flexible and therefore if you experience any bumps excuse me while I drive holy mackerel so if you experience any bumps the engine is more compliant in its uh, housing. This is like the perfect car for a sports car, for me, in my opinion. I'm about to get out on the highway here, and again, this car can't be beat on the highway. It, yes, you do hear maybe a little more tire roar in this car than you would in a Panamera. Because again, this is a sports car. It's not going to cocoon you I mean, you're, this is a driver's car, but still, I don't feel like when I, my wife is in the car with me, I don't feel like we're shouting at each other. It's quiet. Right now I'm in normal mode, so the exhaust is quiet. If you lift off the gas and coast, I know the car will disengage the transmission to save fuel. You know, it's, it's just like any other luxury car maybe just with a little more tire noise. Um, and if you put your foot in it, you hear the exhaust, and which is great sounding. So yeah, it's, it's a great long distance cruiser. I love traveling long distances in this car. Again, with this 18 way adjustable seats, you're so comfortable. You know, I could spend hours in this car and not have any back issue at all. It's, it's a great all around sports car. It, it's great in that regard. It can do so many things. That's what makes it so awesome. It can be compliant. It can be a cruiser. It can be a furious sports car that will demolish anything on the racetrack. 
hold the turns. It has a very sharp turn in. The PDK gearing will keep the power right where you want it to be. You're always in the right gear, so it can be as aggressive as you want it to be. So yet it does all those things together without compromise. Maybe a little bit more road noise, but not, not any compromises. I mean, so it's like this perfect blend of, of a car. I, can't, I, can't, I just can't, at least for someone who is a driving enthusiast like me, it's like this perfect car. You cannot get more perfect than this. And the fit and finish is all quality made. Everything feels great to the touch, so there's no compromise there. So, as you can tell, I'm very enthusiastic. And, I'm, and again, I'm not being paid by Porsche. This is not a commercial, but you know. Uh, there are a lot of other great cars out there, and they're worth looking at. I'm just happy with this choice. Uh, I'm very happy with it after two years, and I don't see any need to change. You know, none whatsoever. Yes, I know Porsche will always improve, always come out with something new and better, but that's great. But I'm very happy with this generation of car. just like driving a video game well I guess you're right I guess you're right but I still find it a lot of fun you can just focus on your line enjoy the sound you know let the car do its thing let it help you be faster beautiful beautiful drive I, I, I'm totally totally happy with this car after two years of ownership. Totally. You cannot beat this car. You can't beat it. It's the bomb. No doubt, y'all. All right, so that'll wrap it up for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review at 15,000 miles. As you can tell, I'm a happy camper. So look for the next video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Later.